When ships arrive in port, they secure themselves to the berth during mooring operations. This operation usually takes anywhere from 20 to 90 minutes and presents risks to the crew due to the nature of using heavy equipment and lines under great tension that could part and snap back. The conventional method of mooring utilizes large lines called housers that are sent from the ship to the dock using hydraulic or electronic winches. Lines are sent from both the bow and the stern of the ship. Line handlers place these lines on large posts called bollards and then they are tightened up. Here we see the bow of the ship sending its first set of lines called the spring lines. The spring lines help keep the ship in position and prevent it from moving forward or backward. The next set of lines being sent are the two inshore headlines. Ships have different mooring configurations depending on various factors, such as the size of the ship, port requirements, and expected wind and weather conditions. The last set of lines being sent now are the two offshore headlines. This will complete the mooring operation on the bow and leave the ship in what's called a 4 plus 2 configuration, meaning four headlines and two spring lines. Here is a view of the stern tightening up its last two offshore stern lines. This will leave the stern in a 4 plus 2 configuration as well, meaning four stern lines and two spring lines. We're up on the bow of the ship now. We just saw the mooring operation from the dock's point of view. And I'm just gonna go over some of the um, equipment that's actually up here on the bow of the ship. So once the ship uh, comes in alongside here, and it's close enough to the dock, one of the ABs will throw a messenger line ashore. This is the messenger line that's attached to the mooring lines that are shown here. The messenger line is thrown over the side to the dock so that the longshoremen can then pull the mooring lines through the water and then over to the bollards. The mooring lines are paid in and out using the uh, control lever here. You push it forward to pay the line out, you pull it back towards you to heave the line in. After the eye of the line is put over one of the bollards, the line will then be heaved in and uh, it'll have to be crossed over to the working side here. So the line is spooled up on the main part of the drum here and then as the line is just coming out of the water the AB will move it over to the working side and the reason they do that is because these lines when they're tight they come under a lot of tension so if you were to have the line come up tight while it was over here on the main part of the drum it'll actually dig in in between here and that's uh, called getting buried and uh, it's a whole process of getting that removed so these are the two spring lines This drum has the two inshore headlines. And then those two last lines there are the offshore headlines, which are on that drum over there. Ports and shipping companies are always looking for ways to operate safer and more efficiently. Cavatech is a company that is introducing its new version of automated mooring called the MooreMaster NXG. The system can be installed in ports and utilizes vacuum technology to secure the ship to the berth, thus eliminating the need to use mooring lines, crew, and line handlers. The system boasts its ability to safely moor a ship in only 30 seconds once it's in position. Cavatech's MooreMaster is already in use in ports around the globe. As their system becomes even more widely used, it will be interesting to see if their automated vacuum technology becomes the new conventional method of ship mooring operations. For more information about the MooreMaster NXG, check out www.cavatech.com forward slash MooreMaster.